What's up guys, it's me Oniko321 and I'm making a tutorial on something different. It's not a physical thing, I'm going to be showing you NEI. Say for example, um, you've got all of this but and you're on the creative server and you want to keep all of this um, but you want to do other stuff. You can go to save slow 2 and then you can open another one, like this one which is empty. Then, like for example, if I want to make a tutorial, right? So, for example, I want to make a tutorial on... <laughs> Mass fabricators, I'll get the mass fabricator, I stick it out. Then I realize, um, maybe I want to do, s and then I like, put on FSU next to F and FSU, glass, fiber cables. Then I realize that maybe I should be doing something else also before this. What I can do is stick it another slot, a save, load my empty slot, and go and do some that other thing, which is pretty awesome. Then I can load back, and I've got everything here. And the same way I can load back to this, I've got everything here. Now, if you fill all of these up or you find some of them are unnecessary, then you can just press the X button and it deletes it. And when you you can't load that one up anymore. So another thing, you see here, there's like some of these that are have are up and some of these which aren't in. The way you do that, for example, if you want it so it's always dark for some reason, it's always dark, and it never turns light. As if you right click, sorry, yeah, right click these then it will be disabled, but if you left click it, it will activate that certain one, like, I can make it so it's new, then make it dark again. Then I can turn rain on, and it starts raining. Turn rain off, it stops raining. Then I can turn rain on, and then I can right click it, and then rain disabled. Magnet mode doesn't work, and create this changes between creative, creative plus, and default. Which is pretty awesome. And then if you like say for example you got all of these but you're in your survival and you want to remove them, you can just go to delete. Or you can set them here. Either way, it just disappears. So there's some basic stuff of just the uh, starting menu. It just doesn't work sadly. Oh and if you for example if you manage to get yourself So say for example I'm up here then I fall down and take most damage. I can simply press heal player and it will heal me. And same example if I just run around and jump around a bit, I would eventually get some um, food down. Eventually. Um, as I get that, um, um, I can just press the heal player again and it will fill up my food. I'm just going to prove it to you as soon as it starts losing um, food. There's probably better ways of doing this, but for now I'm gonna run and jump. <laughs> Running around my machine with no shoes and socks on. <laughs> and it's a countdown. Let me change it back today. So anyhow, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't work at the moment. So what else is there to know? You can go if you don't like the way this this is. Um, you can go here and you can disable any eye and it disables it. Or you can press the O button and, look, and then you can just enable it and there you go. Or you can press the O button and it hides entirely so if your like, friends come in and like oh my god he didn't do that a jet you could have just hit them before they arrived and they'd be like dude I like, totally did of course you would have to like have some of that stuff also. But then if you switch between the modes the cheap recipe mode um, when you click the sides it will show you everything um, utility mode does the same thing and cheat mode um, actually spawns stuff in cheat mode you can shift and click and it spawns an infinite stack of it so I can now place these infinitely and it all gathers up in that infinite stack however I can also just normal click it and I've got 64 of those or I can left cl right click it and uh, I've, got, I've got one of those so yeah, that's something that's something you should you should know. Furthermore, if you look down here, you've got this box. Say for example, you want to search something on the NEI, um, and or you want to search your inventory for something. What you do is you type in, say for example, pumpkin, pumpkin stuff, right? Then it comes up here. Um, then you press, the, you hover over what you want, and you press the R button, and that shows you what you can what um how you make it so for example pumpkin you can use micro blocks and if you press the u button 
you see, you can see what it's used for. It's like jack o' lanterns, pumpkin seeds. You can cut it up. And if you want to find it in your inventory, you can double click it, and you will come up with pumpkin. Um, what else is there? Oh, and you can also, if you want to, you like you looking through stuff, you want to find certain things, you can just right click here. So yeah, left click here and switch between each page. Like, for example, it's looking for um, uh, looking for rabbit tree. Just look around, and you find it there. So, say for example, you have typed something like, um, cookie. So, that you've typed up cookie, and you finally got, you found your cookie in the inventory. The way you can get rid of this, you can either right, left click, no sorry, right click, and it entirely removes the search. Or you can double click that, and entirely, um, it stops searching up stuff. There's just little hints. Then you can go back to your options and you can change the layout of what it looks like. So this is the old too many items. Okay, maybe not. It doesn't have a texture anymore. Or you can have it back to your Minecraft layout. Then you can turn turn your item ideas. So for example, if you want to take ID. So you see, for example, here it says glowstone 89. That's glowstone and then it's data value. You can turn that on or off here by putting it hidden and there you go. It doesn't show up. Um, what else is there? I think that's really everything you need to know. You can change the recipe, I mean, the um, thingy for everything, the key binding for everything. For example, you can do, you can short, you have shortcuts for that, you can see your previous recipe, um, you can see the enchantments for stuff, but that's any eye in a nutshell, really. Oh, and one last thing sometimes there's this error where when you click something, it automatically drops out your inventory. What you do is you hover over a space which doesn't have anything, you hit out, then you wiggle your mouse around and you click somewhere else, and that will automatically fix it. It's not a server size problem, it's a problem with actual Minecraft. Um, well, too many, I uh, too many items bug actually, but yeah. So anyhow, if you found this tutorial helpful, leave me a like and tell me... Tell and tell me in the comments some stuff. If you think if you think I'm, I miss something or you don't like the layout or you're gonna dislike it, tell me why. Tell me what I miss and stuff. Cause I gen genuinely want to know. So anyhow, um, if you um, if you like it, like it. If you fun to, you can favorite it. That'd be really helpful. So this is me and you can three to one signing up. Peace out, guys. Boop.